The Huris, from Persian, Hu Ri Hori, plural of Haur or Hariya, Arabic, Hu Raya T, are beings in Islamic mythology, described in English translations as, and splendid companions of equal age, or well matched, lovely eyed, of modest gaze, and virgins who will accompany the faithful in Jannah. Muslim paradise. Topic. Descriptions The Huris are mentioned in several passages of the Quran, always in plural form. No specifics are ever given, though, as to the number of Huris that should be available to each believer. As for the gender of the Huris, the Quran does not indicate that only men would be granted the company of Huris. In fact, it can be inferred from the context that both men and women believers will have a plural number of Huris for themselves. This in turn leads to the assumptions that huris can be both male or female. On the other hand, feminine adjectives or participles are always used when it is possible to make a distinction, and the Quran says that one of the favors granted to those in paradise is huris, untouched before them by man or jinni, which implies that they are female virgins. They are described as virgins in 56 to 36, although the word in another context can mean firstborn. Topic. Quranic description In the Quran, the Huris are called companions, described as being restraining in their glances, chaste, with modest gazes, wide and beautiful, lovely eyes, eyes like pearls, and full breasted. The word itself occurs four times, always in the plural, but they are also referred to in a few other passages in different terms. 44 to 54. Thus, and we will marry them to fair women with large, beautiful eyes. 52 to 20. They will be reclining on thrones lined up, and we will marry them to fair women with large, beautiful eyes. 55 to 72. Fair ones reserved in pavilions. 56 to 22. And for them are fair women with large, beautiful eyes. And among his wonders is this, he creates for you mates out of your own kin DC so that you might incline towards them, and he engenders love and tenderness between you, in this, behold, there are messages indeed for people who think. And he it is who creates all life in the first instance, and then brings it forth anew, and most easy is this for him, since his is the essence of all that is most sublime in the heavens and on earth, and he alone is almighty, truly wise. And, O our sustainer, bring them into the gardens of perpetual bliss which thou hast promised them, together with the righteous from among their forebears, and their spouses, and their offspring. For, verily, thou alone art almighty, truly wise. Topic. Shiite description To Shiite scholars, the most important fact of the description of the Huris is that good deeds performed by believers are recompensated by the Huris, which are the physical manifestations of ideal forms, that would not fade away over time, and who will serve as faithful companions to those they accompany. Topic. Sunni description Details of the Huris that have been pointed out by Sunni scholars include that the Huris would not urinate, defecate or menstruate. It has also been said that all Huris are "...transparent to the marrow of their bones. Eternally young. Hairless except the eyebrows and the head. Pure. And. Beautiful." Islamic scholars such as Ibn Majah and al-Suyuti have also described them as having libidinous vaginas. Topic. Hadiths A number of Sunni ahadith collections of the reports of the teachings, deeds and sayings of the Islamic prophet Muhammad, accepted as canonic by most, but not all, Muslims also mention the Huris Muhammad al-Bukhari Everyone will have two wives f from the Huris, who will be so beautiful, pure and transparent that the marrow of the bones of their legs will be seen through the bones and the flesh. People who enter paradise will not urinate, relieve nature, spit, or have any nasal secretions. Their combs will be of gold, and their sweat will smell like musk. The aloe's wood will be used in their censers. Their wives will be Huris. All of them will look alike and will resemble their father Adam in stature, 60 cubits tall. 
Muslim Ibn al Hajjaj Nishapuri, Muhammad reported that some persons stated with a sense of pride and some discussed whether there would be more men in paradise or more women. It was upon this that Abu Huraira reported that Abul Qasim the Holy Prophet said, the members of the first group to get into paradise would have their faces as bright as full moon during the night, and the next to this group would have their faces as bright as the shining stars in the sky, and every person would have two wives g and the marrow of their shanks would glimmer beneath the flesh and there would be none without a wife in paradise. Habir b. Abdullah reported, I was shown paradise and I saw the wife of Abu Talha I, e. Um Sulaim and I heard the noise of steps before me and, lo, it was that of Bilal. Abu Isa Muhammad ibn Isa at Tirmidhi at Tirmidhi 824-892, Al-Hasan al-Basri says that an old woman came to the Messenger of Allah and made a request, O Messenger of Allah make dua that Allah grants me entrance into Jannah. The Messenger of Allah replied, O Mother, an old woman cannot enter Jannah. That woman started crying and began to leave. The Messenger of Allah said, Say to the woman that one will not enter in a state of old age, but Allah will make all the women of Jannah young virgins. Allah Ta'ala says, Lo! We have created them a new creation and made them virgins, lovers, equal in age. Ahuri is a most beautiful young woman with a transparent body. The marrow of her bones is visible like the interior lines of pearls and rubies. She looks like red wine in a white glass. She is of white color, and free from the routine physical disabilities of an ordinary woman such as menstruation, menopause, urinal and offal discharge, child-bearing and the related pollution. Ahuri is a girl of tender age, having large breasts which are round pointed, and not inclined to dangle. Huris dwell in palaces of splendid surroundings. Ibn Majah Huris do not want wives to annoy their husbands, since the Huris will also be the wives of the husbands in the afterlife. Mu'ad ibn Jabal Allah be pleased with him reported that Allah's messenger peace and blessings of Allah be upon him said, a woman does not annoy her husband but his spouse from amongst the maidens with wide eyes intensely white and deeply black will say, do not annoy him, may Allah ruin you. He is with you as a passing guest. Very soon, he will part with you and come to us. Like Muslim Ibn al Hajjaj Nishapuri, see above, Abu Huraira mentions Huris as the solution to previous mundane worries as to whether there would be more women or more men who would go to paradise and whether, therefore, there would be a shortage of each gender for couple making in the afterlife. Abu Ubaidah ibn al Jarrah said that the recreated women of this life, referring to we, have created their companions of special creation and made them virgin pure and undefiled were mentioned in the previous verse as Huri in verse 22. Al-Hasan al-Basri stated that the word, Huri, implied the righteous women among mankind who are rewarded with paradise as related in the tafsir of Tabari quoted by Muhammad Asad in his tafsir, Message of Quran, concerning the following ayah, We have created their companions of special creation, and made them virgin, pure and undefiled, Topic. Quranic commentators Artat bin al Mundir said regarding Huri mentioned in Surah Rahman, 55, Ayah, verse 56, Damra bin Habib was asked if the jinns will enter paradise and he said, Yes, and they will get married. The jinns will have jinn women and the humans will have female humans. Muhammad ibn Jarir al Tabari mentions that all righteous women, however old and decayed they may have been on earth, will be resurrected as virginal maidens and will, like their male counterparts, remain eternally young in paradise. Ibn Kathir says that the Huris are delightful virgins of comparable age who never had sexual intercourse with anyone, whether from mankind or jinns, before their husbands. By commenting, in the other life, after they became old in this life, they were brought back while virgin, youthful, being delightfully passionate with their husbands, beautiful, kind and cheerful." Ibn Kathir also stated that Muhammad confirmed that there would be sexual intercourse in paradise. al qurtabai reconciled between a previous hadith that stated that the majority of the inhabitants of hell Jahannam would be women by suggesting that many of the women that will form the majority in hell will be among the sinners that would stay there merely temporarily and would then be brought out of hell, into paradise. Thereafter the majority of the people of paradise will be women. Fakr al-Din al-Razi comments that amongst the Huris mentioned in the Quran would also be 
even those toothless old women of yours whom God will resurrect as new beings. Etymology Classical Arabic usage The word who are Arabic, her is the plural of both awar Arabic, awar masculine and har Arabic, hora feminine which can be translates as gazelle-eyed or having eyes with an intense contrast of white and black or as distinguished by hawar which itself means intense whiteness of the eyeballs and lustrous black of the pupils. Some also propose that the most literal translation of the noun into English would be pure companions, most beautiful of the eyes. Topic. Corresponding Hebrew root In Hebrew the corresponding adjective higher highwer has the same root hwr, meaning pale, whitish. The corresponding word for eye is in ayan. Topic: European usage. The word huri has entered several European languages: French 1654, English 1737, with the meaning of a elegant, beautiful, charming woman. Topic: huri versus hor. The English word hor. German hoer, Danish hoer, Swedish hora, Dutch hoer, Proto-Germanic asterisk horen, masculine form Gothic or, Proto-Germanic asterisk horas is thought to stem from the Proto-Indo-European verb root asterisk keh, to love, and is not etymologically related to the Arabic Semitic and thus non-Indo-European word huri. Topic. Misconceptions Several translators like Halali Khan, Arbery, Palmer, Rodwell and Sale, have translated the adjective kaib in Book 78, verse 33 of the Quran to refer to wide shoulders and chest. Ibn Kathir, in his tafsir, writes that the adjective contained in said verse means fit pectorals or breasts. He goes on as to state that it is meant by this that the chest and pectorals or breasts of these girls will be fully fit and not sagging, because they will be virgins, equal in age. And the huris can be male and female both. It means the fit pectorals or breasts can be male or female. Abdullah Yusuf Ali, on the other hand, translates said adjective into English simply as charming, elegant and holy, which refers to sensual or physical attributes, though not necessarily chest, pectorals or breasts. As an alternative interpretation, Muhammad Asad has said the following regarding such verse. As regards my rendering of Kawaib as splendid companions. It is to be remembered that the term kab, from which the participle kaib is derived, has many meanings, and that one of these meanings is prominence, eminence, or glory. Lisan al-Arab, thus, the verb kaaba, when applied to a person, signifies he made another person prominent, glorious, or splendid. Ibid, based on this tropical meaning of both the verb kaaba and the noun kaab, the participle kaib has often been used, in popular parlance, to denote a girl whose shoulder and chest are becoming prominent, or are budding. Hence, many commentators see in it an allusion to some sort of youthful female companions who would entertain the presumably male occupants of paradise. This interpretation of kawaib overlooks the purely derivative origin of the above popular usage, which is based on the tropical connotation of prominence inherent in the noun kab, and substitutes for this obvious tropism the literal meaning of something that is physically prominent, and this, in my opinion, is utterly unjustified. If we bear in mind that the Quranic descriptions of the blessings of paradise are always allegorical, we realize that in the above context the term kawaib can have no other meaning than glorious or splendid beings. The authoritative Arabic-English lexicon of Edward William Lane defines the singular of the word kawa'ib as a girl whose chest is beginning to swell, or become prominent, or protuberant. Related to words meaning knob, chest, bosom, virginity, and so forth. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Sexual intercourse in paradise. 
Ibn Kathir mentions Muhammad saying that man in heaven would have sex with 100 virgins in one day. In another version of the Hadith, Muhammad is reported to have said, In paradise, the believer will be given such and such strength for women. Anas said, I asked, O oh Allah's Messenger, will one be able to do that? He said, He will be given the strength of a hundred men. Some companions of Muhammad are reported to have said that man in heaven will be busy in deflowering virgins. Ibn Kathir says that the Huri are delightful virgins of comparable age who never had sexual intercourse with anyone, whether from mankind or jinns, before their husbands. By commenting in the other life, after they became old in this life, they were brought back while virgin, youthful, being delightfully passionate with their husbands, beautiful, kind and cheerful. Imam Suyuti is reported to have said, e Ak time we sleep with a huri we find her virgin. Besides, the penis of the elected never softens. The erection is eternal, the sensation that you feel each time you make love is utterly delicious and out of this world and were you to experience it in this world you would faint. Each chosen one i.e. Muslim will marry seventy sick huris, besides the women he married on earth, and all will have appetizing vaginas. In another place, Ibn Kathir emphasizes the literal nature of sexual intercourse in paradise by another hadith. The Prophet was asked, Do we have sex in paradise? He answered, Yes, by him who holds my soul in his hand, and it will be done daman, daman that is intercourse done with such shove and disturbance. And when it is finished she will return pure and virgin again. Topic: <inaudible> Alternative interpretations. Ibn Kathir relates concerning the following verses. Verily, the dwellers of the paradise that day will be busy with joyful things. They and their wives will be in pleasant shade, reclining on thrones. They will have therein fruits and all that they ask for. Chapter Surah Yasin O thou human being 36 55 to 57 Although Ibn Kathir relates the opinion of some companions of Muhammad being reported to have said concerning will be busy with joyful things. That means in heaven people will be busy in deflowering virgins. He continues to relate other alternate meanings. Another companion Ibn Abbas has said that it refers listening to stringed instruments. Others such as Al-Hasan al-Basri and Isma'il bin Abi Khalid have said, they will be too busy to think about the torment which the people of hell are suffering. Qatada implied, with the delights which they are enjoying. Ibn Abbas said, this means that they will be rejoicing. While Mujahid said, their spouses, will be in pleasant shade means, in the shade of trees. Ibn Abbas, Mujahid, Ikrima, Muhammad bin Ka B, Al Hasan, Qatada, as Sudi and Kusayf said, beds beneath canopies. Topic. Reference to 72 virgins. The idea of 72 virgins in Islam refers to an aspect of paradise. In a Sunni collection by Abu Isa Muhammad ibn Isa at Tirmidhi in his Jami at Tirmidhi and also quoted by Ibn Kathir in his Tafsir ibn Kathir of Surah 55, it is stated It was mentioned by Duraj ibn Abi Haytham that Abu al Haytham Adela ibn Wahb narrated from Abu Sa'id al Qudri, who heard Muhammad saying, The smallest reward for the people of heaven is an abode where there are 80,000 servants and 72 huri, over which stands a dome decorated with pearls, aquamarine, and ruby, as wide as the distance from al Jabiya to Sana'a. However, regarding the above statement, Hafiz Salahuddin Yusuf has said, the narration, which claims that everyone would have 72 wives has a weak chain of narrators. In the same collection of Sunni hadiths, however, the following is judged strong Hassan Sahih, that the Messenger of Allah said, There are six things with Allah for the martyr. He is forgiven with the first flow of blood he suffers, he is shown his place in paradise, he is protected from punishment in the grave, secured from the greatest terror, the crown of dignity is placed upon his head, and its gems are better than the world and what is in it, he is married to seventy-two wives among the her the backquote eon. Wide-eyed ones. Athnatini wasabina zajatamina alhorialini of paradise, and he may intercede for seventy of his close relatives.
The Syro-Aramaic reading of the Quran by the pseudonymous Christoph Luxemburg claims that the word is actually just the Syriac word for white and refers to white raisins. Topic. See also. Aspara, Hindu and Buddhist faiths. Dakini, Tibetan Buddhism. Fairy, European folklore. Maid of Heaven, Baha'i faith. Nymph, ancient Greek religion. Valkyrie, Norse religion. Yakshini, Hindu, Buddhist, and Jain religions. Topic. References. Topic. Notes. Carat a zavinahum, pair them, marry them. Note Z A W J lit. A pair. Or, according to the context, one of a pair applies to either of the two sexes, a man to a woman and a woman to a man, as does the transitive verb zawaja, he paired, or joined, i.e., one person with another. Carat b kasarat at tarf, lit. Such as restrain their gaze, i.e., are of modest bearing and have eyes only for their mates. Tafsir Razi. This phrase applies to both genders. Carat c min anfusicum aswajan, lit. From among yourselves mates, spouses, one of the pair. Carat d lit. Walmamanuna, male believers, walmamanatu, female believers. Carat e lit. Min from thakaran, male a or on the female. Carat f in a version of this hadith. Wa li kul li wa ahadan minhum zajadani. Topic. And to every single everyone among them zajadani. The expression kuli wa hayden each one everyone includes both males and females. Note, the feminine ending at un feminine ta marbuta, a in modern Arabic language is also added to distinguish a person in an exemplary manner as in alamun. Scholar, alamatan a Topic. Distinguished scholar, not female scholar, or as in Ra'an. Narrator, Ra Yatin ah, equals narrator of poems, not female narrator. These forms ending in at un modern ah, as they designate the individual, are treated as masculines. Zajatan, dual connotation, classical Arabic idiom, which can be used to refer to two different things calling them by the same name, two paired persons or things can be expressed by the dual of one of them, e.g. Abawani, dual of Abba, father, topic parents, father and mother, not two fathers, Kamarani, dual of Kamar, moon, sun and moon, not two moons, usage in Quran in Surah al forkan 25, 53, Bahrain, dual of Bar, sea, equals sea, salty and bitter, and river, sweet and thirst allaying, not two seas. Sometimes the word with the female gender is chosen to make the dual form, such as in the expression, the two Marwas, referring to the two hills of As Safa and Al Marwa, not two hills, each called Al Marwa, in Mecca. A winking face, i.e., husband, zawj, and wife zaja can be referred as zajatan in the dual form. Carat g or husband zawj and wife zaja can be referred as zajatan in the dual form. Huris, inferred from Sahih Muslim, Hadith 6795 through another chain of narration. Topic citations Topic Sources Asad, M. December 2003. The Message of the Quran. Bilingual ed. The Book Foundation. ISBN 1-904510-000-0. Ismail ibn Kathir. Tafsir ibn Kathir. Qtafsir.com. Ismail ibn Kathir 2000. Tafsir ibn Kathir. Dar us Salaam Publications. ISBN 978-1-59144-020-8. Wolf Dietrich, F. 2002. A Grammar of Classical Arabic 3rd Revised Ed. New Haven and London, Yale University Press. Topic external links Response from Islamka team to a Muslim asking about sex with virgins in heaven A review of a book by Christoph Luxemburg who claims Aramaic origins for the Quran. Description of al hor al iyan in the Quran and Sunnah A humorous look at the 72 virgins, from the New Yorker 72 black-eyed virgins, a Muslim debate on the rewards of martyrs, memory.org Is Islam really about suicide bombing and 72 virgins? Abid Allah Jan PeaceQuest.net Joyce M. Davis 24 August 2001. 60 minutes quotations fabricated. Knight Ritter newspapers is reported by the Muslim News.
archived from the original on the 27th of September 2007. Retrieved the 27th of April 2007. Cleric, Zarqawi's wedding with virgins has begun. <laughs>